so we have the the initial bot we'll just go back and we'll make one more change in this bot what we'll do we'll add an id for each of the memes within the uh, within the card so as you can see this this is the id uh, for each of the memes object and we'll just go ahead and add this value so so each of the card will now hold uh, this number uh, which, you, which you can reference later on so i'll tell you basically the reason for this is uh, once the user has selected a particular meme a particular image and uh, we need to reference to that image uh, using this id so that we can we can do you know some processing on top of that image so like adding the text so we'll just save that and now we'll go back to the meme generator api and look at the the second endpoint that is here which is called caption image so this api endpoint uses the post method which uh, which which is like similar to get but it is for submitting some data rather than fetching for some data and the url for this endpoint is here right here which is caption underscore image now this uh, um, this endpoint requires the very first thing that it requires is the template id and uh, this template id is the same id that uh, that i mentioned here this is id of the uh, id of the memes so this is the id that is referring to so in this api um, it is referring to this template id in order to make uh, add the captions uh, the other options in this endpoint is the text zero which is the top text of the meme text one which is the bottom text of the meme there are other some other extra things which is which are optional things like uh, font and uh, max font size and boxes i mean you can look into these uh, but these are all optional things uh, if you want you can look into exactly how to use them and of course there are username and password uh, to use this api so so the most important thing as you can now see is uh, the most important part of making an api enabled bot is to actually understand the api itself the other part is is easy i mean this is like a standard thing uh, once you understood the how api works you don't need to understand uh, each of them separately uh, 